Every time you make a change to something in your layout, it will generally follow a three step process. Make that thing you're going to edit as big as you possibly can on screen so it's less fiddly to work with. Then pick an appropriate tool to make those changes. And finally, deactivate that content when you're done. Now, in order to be able to make something look bigger on screen, we need to alter the magnification. On the far left hand side of the interface, we have the tools panel. And right down towards the bottom, there is an icon of a magnifying glass. That's the zoom tool. Left click on that. If I hover my cursor away, my cursor changes to the appearance of a magnifying glass with a plus inside. All you have to do then is hover your cursor over the thing you want to zoom into, click with the mouse, keep clicking, and it will keep making that thing bigger on screen. And then once I get to a size where I'm happy to edit that app, then you can switch to a different tool and make those changes, whether it's the type tool or a tool to move something around. If you need to zoom out, well, you can hold down the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac. That will then reveal the zoom out mode of the magnifying glass. Keep the Alt key held down whilst you left click and you can zoom out like so, repeatedly left clicking. There is a minimum zoom size and that's 5% and I probably agree that that is absolutely no use to anybody. But if you release the Alt key on the keyboard, it reinstates the default mode of zoom in and you can just click over a page to zoom back in again. Or of course, go to the view menu and choose fit page and window. So that's how you can change the magnification of something inside of InDesign to make it look bigger and easier to edit.